here we are on the battlefield. So let's start the deployment. Let's see what this battle is going to be like. Okay, we're ascending a hill, which is interesting. And we need to create a decent formation. I'm gonna set them up here on this place where we can clear the sea them. So we have two Astati Sabevi. I'm gonna put them in the middle as a central unit. And then we have Principes and Astati. One unit of Equites and a second unit of Equites. Those are the Equites Sabevi, so they're not the basic Roman Equites. And here we have the general. Which is probably the strongest unit in our army. What are we left with? Oh, Triarii and the skirmishers. So now that I can see the army clearly, I think what we could do is change it and make it slightly wider. So you guys will be here, you guys will be here. Let's make it like this. And I'm gonna put these guys here and these guys here and the unit of Astati in the middle. Triarii will cover the back. Here's where our army... Be wait, those are not Triarii. These are Principes. So Triarii will be here and the cavalry here. So let's group our units and see what we can see. So there's one unit and there's another unit. To be honest, I'd prefer to deal with the Hastati first because they're going to be easier to break. And if we fight with the Phalanx when Hastati falls in our backs, then it would be extremely painful. Now the goal here is basically no casualties. I know that sounds a bit weird, but Romans have one weakness and that is no ranged units. It's going to be a completely different game from the highest done campaign that I had in, the, in EB1, where I was mostly relying on supreme archers and weakening and routing enemies before we even encountered them. Here we will get hurt every single battle. So, saving units is of maximum importance. Okay, I guess we won't be able to do it. Not in time anyway. Okay, guys. Hurry. What a great freaking weather for this. Now, the phalanx should be relatively easy to break. If I could only see which unit is which, that would help me greatly. And of course I have the locked cam because I want this to be a bit harder than usually. You know what, I'm gonna send one of the units of Equites to scout ahead. I need to see what that unit is. They're hiding in the forest. Though admittedly, a cavalry unit is not the best for this situation. But if they're the phalanx, Okay, Sabelli Spearmen. So these are the Spearmen. Cool. That actually makes it slightly easier for us. Oh, that's the edge of the map? Yeah. Okay, so the main army will move on them. Okay. Skirmishers will attack first. 
I'm sure let's turn you completely around. Run. Okay, you guys retreat, they're coming right at you. I meant on the double. Oh, hell, where are they? I can't see them, probably. That's a bit disconcerting. Okay, let's retreat here. Oh, there they are. Okay, you guys will go and harass them. Are you set to skirmish mode? Yes. You should be able to skirmish them easily. Come on, throw your spears. Okay. It's super ineffective. Run. Actually, no, they're reforming. If there ever was a greater time to chuck your spears, I don't know which it was. Okay, cameramen are there. It's fine. Come on. Why aren't you doing it? Cavalry would be great for this attack as well, but... Let's... Let's take these units, ungroup them completely and send them here. Okay, it takes them so much time to actually <laughs> move that they're getting away. Yeah, they're marching towards the other unit. I can effectively maneuver with this army in the forest that has been already proven, so... Now, Chuck! Do it! You completely missed, didn't you? Ha ah, ha. Ah. This is awful. Come on, run, and you guys are where? You guys are moving. Okay, now they turned. Which I guess is good because we need to engage them. Cavalry prepare on the side. Where is the other unit? Oh, there it is. Phalanx, 240 men. Are you checking or what are you doing? Okay, go. Form a unit and we will envelop them and then the cavalry will hit them from the back. That's the plan here. Okay, run, run, run. And... Stop skirmishing. Actually, you can skirmish, but don't shoot at will. There you have. Awesome. Run. 
run. You guys attack and cav attack from the back. And you guys from the other side. Cavalry, charge! And back. Okay, they they are wavering already. Where's the phalanx? Okay, they're really close. Charge. Charge. We need you to charge now, not tomorrow. And they're broken. Fighting to the death though. So everyone. And we got the general. That's awesome news, but guys, give them some breathing room. And here is the phalanx. Oh my god, it's scary as hell. I forgot how bad these things scared me. We didn't lose all that many men. Two, three. Yeah, not bad at all. I'll probably send one of these units after them as well. Okay, stop firing and we'll... Actually, no, fire. No. What the hell are you doing? Stop skirmish, stop firing at will. I need you guys to form, we need to flank them. Are you actually chasing them or? I'm confused. Okay, so they're not attacking, they're just standing ground. Okay, I of the map, only two made it off. Cool. I'd call this a successful battle, but we still have a phalanx to deal with. You guys go here, you guys go over there. No need to take the tree area into the mess. Okay, hurry. They're turning against the chameleon skirmishers. No, 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 no. Actually, you can. Yeah, you're just harassing them. That's good. Let's keep you on skirmish mode. Okay, we weaken them a bit. Not much. Let's retreat. Oh, how I hate breaking these formations. Still have a lot of spears left. What if we manage to make them turn around? That could work. Okay, now. Go, go, go. Good 
And you guys completely wasted the chance I've given you. Oh my god. I guess we don't really have much of a choice but to descend upon them. It's going to be hell. Where are you guys? Here and there. Come on. Go back. You guys are keeping them at least busy. Oh, you still have the pillums. So throw them. Okay, so now charge, and you guys charge. Run! Oh god, this is awful. Failing slow. Charge, charge, charge. Awesome, they're wavering. Shaken. No, this is a bad, bad area for cavalry to maneuver in, I know. Run, run, run. You guys as well. They're shaken. I think we should retreat and hit them again from all sides. Oh no, they're routing. Oh god. Okay, you guys need to charge them, and you guys need to charge them, come on. Okay, they're shaken, go back. Come on, come on. Break them! Go and break them! Ok, 
Okay, where's the other calf unit? And all of our units are fighting. Come on. Okay, they're vaporing. Cool, cool, cool. Run, 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 run. Okay, we won. But damn, this was an awful battle. This was an awful battle. Let's end it and see. We killed 183 enemies. And the enemies killed 148 and 16. So we killed more men than they. We lost 141 and killed about 400. Well, we faced about 400 and lost 141 men. No experience gained, but we've taken some prisoners, and yeah, casualties healed. Well, lesson learned, phalanxes are even more dangerous than they are in EB1. So we now have an option to ransom the prisoners, so I'm going to ransom them because we want ransom rejected. Our cold hearted enemy has refused to meet our most reasonable and ransom demands, and thus the prisoners have been executed. Well, we broke both of the units, though, that's the important part. Because they are. Actually, these guys retreated? Oh, yeah, those are probably the two guys that, um, that ran away from the battle. And now we can hopefully continue on towards the city that we are after. So yes, it has it has no garrison, minor settlement, and there's Taras, which is a payroll to large town. Two, four, five, six units. How are we doing? Well, that's going to be a major pain dealing with, but no way in which we could recruit any units here. We could recruit some units here, though. Astati Sabelli, so let's recruit two of those. And we'll send them towards the army led by uh, Manius, Valerius, Maximus uh, in the next turn. So I'm gonna end the turn now and then we'll continue.